In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure access groups for the BuddyBoss app. Access groups are used to dynamically group members together who meet certain conditions based on their WordPress role, profile type, social group, learn dash course, learn dash group, or membership level. Once you've set up your access groups, you can use them within access rules to control what social features and what content your members have access to, and also to control which menu your users will see in their tab bar and more screen when they log into the app. Access groups are the core to the entire access controls feature, so make sure to watch this video before configuring your access rules. We have other tutorials showing you how to configure access rules and how to create multiple app menus based on access groups, so please make sure to watch those tutorials after. And with that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app access controls. And then from here, you'll notice this button for access groups. You can click this button at any time to create and manage your access groups. As I mentioned before, the purpose of an access group is to dynamically group members together who meet certain conditions. And then we can use these access groups within our access rules to restrict user access within the app. So let's go ahead and click here to add our first access group. And we get this modal asking us to specify which members should be part of this access group. Let's click the drop down to select our condition. And you can see from here that we can set the condition to be based on WordPress role, profile type, social group, learn dash course, learn dash group, or membership level. Note that the options you see in this drop down are based on what features and third party plugins you have enabled on your site. So, for example, if instead of MemberPress you're using Restrict Content Pro, as your membership login, you would see Restrict Content Pro as the option here. And of course, these Learn Dash options would only appear if you're using Learn Dash plugin. Let's click Profile Type, and we get a second drop down asking us to pick the type. Let's click Teacher, and I'll click Save Group. And now the system is creating our access group. It takes a moment to create the group as the system is calculating how many of your users match the conditions for this group. You might be asking why we are creating access groups instead of just assigning the condition directly into the access rule. The reason is for performance. These access groups are dynamically updating in the background to keep a log of which members belong in each group. This way, when you assign the group to an access rule or to an app menu, the app can quickly determine which members should have that access without doing a bunch of extra database queries each time. At any moment, if you think the access group has the wrong member count in it, especially if you just recently changed some related settings on your site. For example, if you had just modified some of your profile type settings, you can always come to this page and hover the access group name and click Recalculate Members. The system will dynamically recalculate the member count for the access group. We've also added a new tool in the Tools menu for recalculating members in your access groups. And if we click this member count, we can see which members belong to the access group. If I click this member, it takes me into their user details in the WordPress admin, where I can see which access group they belong to. Okay, so let's go back and create some more access groups. I'll click Add Group again, and this time I'll select Learn Dash Courses. In the next drop down, I can set the condition to be if the user has enrolled in any course at all, or if they have enrolled in a specific course. And then I can pick the course. I'll click Save Group. And now the system is creating a new access group for all members who are enrolled in this specific Learn Dash course. 
Let's create just one more access group so I can show you how it works for membership logins. I'll click add group and this time I'll select member press. Again, I am seeing this option because I have member press installed. We also have support for paid memberships pro, WooCommerce memberships, wishlist member, and restrict content pro. From this drop down, I can select to make this condition to be for users who have access to any membership at all or to a specific membership. I could pick from the gold, silver, or bronze memberships I created earlier in my MemberPress plugin. But instead, let's go ahead and switch this back to has any membership. And I'll click save group. And now we have an access group that will include all members who have purchased any kind of membership from MemberPress. And that's how you create access groups. Next, you should watch our tutorial for creating access rules and for creating multiple app menus to learn how to use these access groups to restrict member access to your content.